Hey, how's everybody doing? Okay, this is a quick um, flip through of my junk journal. This is my very first junk journal. I am so happy. This junk journal has made me just happy. I don't, I don't even understand why, but I mean, it's super chunky. And I said, if I don't make a video now, because look at the spine, you guys. I mean, come on. I, I, the, so, the spine is busting up. I mean, you see how much... Yeah, so... I didn't even want to open it up again today. This is my first time opening it today. I didn't want to open it up without doing the video because I knew if I opened it, I was going to find some more stuff to put in here. I, I I don't know what that is. I don't even know why I'm so obsessed with trying to stuff this till the point of no return, which I really think that's it's already there. So, this is the side view. This is the top view. The back is just plain green. And it's my book house through the gate. So, let's get into it. Here's to you by Nina. Now, this little charm right here, um, I actually glued it down to where it can be a, a book type marker. Okay, so it opens up like this. And I can tell now that this seam is, yeah, so you got to move. Yeah, you got to move over. I can't be rubbing on you right now. That's Albert. He's one. Yeah. So, so there, there you have it, you guys. That's the old. And so this is coffee dyed. And I don't think I'll be able to. This is just a, a, a page from another book that had the maps. This little card, vintage card I put in there. It's a little tuck spot right here that you can see with a postcard, another little card. I could just tuck that in there like that. Some stamping, some coffee dye, another one of those cards, some column paper, and yeah, and then this is glued down dolly, coffee stain, coffee stained. This is um, another little junk mail. I think I had got this from a sponge or something, but I, I glued down this felt flower. This is a dictionary page that was glued down, coffee dyed. Some packing paper. Another little tuck spot right here. A mail thing, postcard that came like that. This is another one of those cards. And another one of those vintage um, postcards. Some washi tape for decoration. And this is washi stamped. Um, another place where you can journal. Some more washi. This right here flips out. And these are some slides with very vintage um, pictures. This right here is the package that these slides came in. There are 60 of them all together. This is another dictionary page. Coffee dyed and some stamping. Um, more journaling page with some coffee dye and some stamps. Another page for journaling. This is another picture out of a book. This was a vintage library card uh, tag that was in the back. Um, this is uh, another dictionary page that's coffee dye with some stamps. Some more packing paper with some washi coffee dyed. This is another tuck right here. This is Tuck with some more of those cards. That is coffee dyed. Another little 
um, piece of mail, some stamping. This is a part of another front of a book. This is just a part of the dictionary that I pasted down there, washi tape for design. Another part of a book, some more washi tape, and the, this is a, a stamping, and this is some more of that dictionary that's just pasted down. Um, some more washi tape. Um, this is another por uh, portion of another book, more washi tape. Some of that paper. This is a picture that was in that's in this particular book. Some more wrapping vintage type paper. Washi on the sides for decoration. Vintage uh, I mean coffee dyed. Some more generally journaling paper that I can write on both sides. Uh, washi. This is Part of the dictionary some more mail back here just to kind of give it a different effect and um, stamping this is some more washi another place where i can do some journaling this is a coffee dye doily dictionary page another journaling spot Um, this yeah this actually wasn't um, this is just another journaling page where I can do some more journaling this right here is just a collage that then got stuck but this was another journaling this is a picture from a book this is another part of this book um, another journaling page, another journaling side, another journaling page from another book. This side, copy stained paper, a little stamping down at the bottom there. Now this came out of a, the dictionary. I uh, glued that down, put some washi for decoration. Another journaling type page. This is a tuck with some more uh, journaling type few pages that do write some notes whoops some washi on the side for decorations yep okay so this is another part of the book with some coffee stained some stamping another journaling page with some coffee another journaling side uh, coffee stained orally tucked in there another journaling page another journaling side this is another journaling some washi on the side for decorations a little stamping this is a page in the book with coffee dyed this is another journaling page from another book that was uh, glued in here another portion of the book and the parts of the book that i actually this is coffee stain the parts that i left um in this book were were portions of the stories that i will um probably be reading to like my grandbabies and stuff like that this is a collage of music note paper dictionary regular old paper wrap the um wrapping paper type thing and an image from another thing, washi on the side, and I mod podge this down just so it'd have that type of effect. So this is another journaling part. This is the glued down journaling page with some stamping, coffee dyed, taped down. This is inside of part of a book with coffee dye, paper in the background for another effect. This is a journaling page right here. Coffee dyed down, coffee stained. This is the back with some stamping. Another piece of paper for journaling. Another uh, page for journaling. Coffee stained. This is part of the book through the gate. 
This is a book cover of Romeo and Juliet, William Shakespeare. Um, I have some stamping down here. This is just some lace uh, that I put in there. Some more stamping up there. Some of that uh, wrapping paper and just all glued down. Coffee stained. Uh, column paper for journaling. This is a tuck right here. This is a part of the picture of the book. Washi for decoration. Some more stamping. And coffee dyed paper. Now this is a picture from another book. Coffee dyed. Um, washi on the side for decoration. Uh, Dolly. Another vintage picture. Coffee stained. And this is one of those images from the slides and this is the part of the book through the gate coffee stained another um sorry about the shakiness another um flag from another book that i glued down washi on the side coffee dyed pa uh, paper from the book um this is another coffee dyed paper from the book this is from another book for journaling on that back page this is another part of a book with some washi on the side coffee dyed coffee dyed paper of the book coffee dyed right here coffee dyed with some stamping this is um, a picture from another book that I just glued down with some coffee dye and post and stapled this card all right now this actually um, is an envelope now while I was doing some it kind of got stuck and I don't know if I can yeah I'm pretty sure I could open it but these are some vintage cards as you can see playing cards that I just stuck on here this is another uh, paper from another book with some washi down there this is just some mail coffee dye with some stamping washi on the side for decoration music notes coffee dyed another one of those cards stapled down glued down coffee dyed paper coffee dyed paper this is from the dictionary coffee dyed this is some of that like tissue type paper and i just um tucked that over with some washi this is another piece of paper from another book music notes and I had it to where I just had that flipped over and that's got washi on the side, coffee dyed journaling paper, journaling paper with the image of a hat, some more journaling paper, coffee dyed stained. Um, I did coffee dyed throughout, no tea, just all coffee dyed some stamping here some washi on the side for decoration some more of the dictionary pages and i really used a lot of those because i liked it the indentations just how it gave the book more um depth this is an image from another book some washi on the side another dictionary page now this is i um glued this down and this is what the little cards came in they came in actually this little pouch, which you can tell is very old. So, yeah, and I just stuck that on there. So on the side, on the back side is another one of those felt flowers, coffee dyed paper. This is from a newspaper clipping from the New York Times. This actually is um, some actual news from a long time ago so this this is very interesting that book i had actually picked up this is from another book with the image and this is the new york's uh, the book i had got but yeah then one of my friends was over we were doing some um arts and crafts and she fussy cut it a heart and so i just kept that and glued it down and used that as kind of like a decoration coffee dyed journaling paper coffee signed uh, that's just stuck in there and that flips out like that for more journaling or pictures washi on the side 
coffee stained, some more dictionary pages. This is from the book of the music. This is a tuck right here with some other stuff that's just glued down. I'm trying to go kind of fast, you guys, because this it has a lot of pages. I mean, this book is, you can see. All right. So, coffee stained. It's another part of that book that I just stuck in here. Washi. Some more journaling pages. Yeah. Journaling. Now, this is the back side of that music page. And I washi it down. Some stamping up there. And this is where the the locket is glued down so that's kind of can be used as a bookmark place place so some more ways little parts down here to journal washi up there I love that washi with the keys it's so fitting for this so there you have it with another part of the book coffee stained Another image from another book with the coffee stain in the back. This was another image from another book that was coffee stained. And I just glued it down. Part where you can journal, washi for decoration, dictionary. See how that, you know, it's just, it's, it just brings character and depth, I think. These pages and um, just how you can, the, the coffee smell is so wrong <laughs> you know this is another part of the book this is an image from another part of another book and this is part of the book this is that New York Times book I was telling you about with some journaling paper now this is a dictionary page with some wash on the side stamping right there and this actually flips out and this is another part of so like this is actual from the new New York Times book that I was telling you guys about and it you see Reagan, ta Reagan takes oath as a 40th president so it's actually real real news another one of those cards just glued down coffee side washi up there for decoration this is some more of that paper with some stamping. Another. This flips up. This is a part of the newspaper that was glued down. You can do some journaling on that. Uh, then this card is just is glued down in there and it sticks out. Uh, washi on the side for decoration. Washi up there. Some more dictionary pages. This actually is washi. Some more um, vintage. Um, yeah, this this should be a tuck. Uh, so yeah, that's some water paint that I was playing with. Some I had to switch hands, you guys. So this is some water water paint that I was just playing around with with coffee stain and that's the effect it, this is just um from another book uh, stuck in there like that this is the other side of that book another image this is another one of those vintage postcards that's washi down and this is from another book that I just glued both sides down just to kind of give it some depth. And then that's some more paperwork, uh, that paper. Now this is some stamping, some washi on the sides, another part of another book with some images there some washi on the side another um, picture from a dictionary book some washi this is that piano paper that's glued down 
this is some of that tissue, um, like this type of paper. And this is actually, was a, this is material. And I cut this out, fussy cut it, and I glued it down to that page. And just put this part over here. This is coffee dyed paper and stamping. This is from, this was just something I stuck in there. This is from another pattern vintage book with some stamping. Playing around with some smearing around ink. Stamping. Some more journaling paper over here. For the book. Some more journaling paper. Okay. So I'm switching hands again. You guys bear with me. I'm trying to get through this so it won't be so... Now, this is some more coffee stain. Now, you can see the different depths of the coffee stains. Um, some, you know, washy on the side. Um, a manila envelope that I just glued down, washy on the side for decoration. And this is some more of that washi. And this is another flip of that new york times book i was telling you about and it's got the real actual stories from you know stamping some more um journaling oh that's mail some more pages that was just stuck in there from a different book some more mail some journaling um, pages here some more journaling pages glued down Coffee stain from the book. That's glued down some different mail. Coffee stained. And this is glued down, coffee stained, and it's a tuck. It's a tuck up here. And then this is that clear type of paper. I got this from Joann's. It was clearance out. And so I just had added it in here. That's some more stamping, coffee dyed. Stamping and some more... Coffee dyed. So images from another book. Mm -hmm. And this is um, another kind of tuck with a coffee dyed dolly. Um, some more of that washi. Another like journaling type pages where you can journal. You can journal on here. Now this is a manila envelope in the back. This is an image from another book. And this is that washi. And I just glued all this stuff down. Did some stamping to make it kind of, you know, have a different, some more um, washi stamping. Just to give it a different type of effect. This is another one of those uh, pages from the dictionary. Coffee stain dolly. Glue down, dictionary page, washi, and some more stamping. This is a tuck. Tuck, washi on the sides. Another tuck on the back end. Some more of that paper for journaling. The dictionary page has washi in the middle. That's Now, this is actually a tuck, some washi, I mean, not washi, but um, glued down stamping. This is a little book that can do some journaling, a few pages, kind of burnt the edges just to give it a little bit more thin, that uh, little material, cut that, tied it in the knot. And just stuck it in there. I glued this down from a book. These letters are chipboard that I just put on here. Love another one of those felt things on top of that lace again. And then I just glued that down with coffee stained just to give it that dimension. And then here goes washi, another one of those uh, from the dictionary with some uh, metals. And this is the back. This is uh, a tuck. Journaling page back there. Journal on that. 
And then there you have it. That's the other side of the back of the, the book. And this is my chunky journal. And oh my goodness, the smell of that coffee and that is in there. And how I keep it closed is just with my hair tie is how I've been doing it. Just, you know, keeping it closed. And like I said, I'm going to start working on another one. Um, you see how the the spine is, it's almost like it's talking. I mean, look how, you know, I mean, I might even have to take this, I don't know, I might try to reinforce this in the middle here. But like I said, this is my very first one. I enjoyed it. Oh my goodness, so much fun. The fun of going to the different um, stores looking for vintage finds. Um, you know, just, and this is from that other video. So in my next journal, I will be incorporating some of this material. Because I love the different textures. I love the different media um, watercolors with the washi with the stamping so i'm going to be doing a lot more and then i do have some other wonderful books that i might um, that i've already took the pages out and just has the but yeah so this one you can see how it's busting out the seam i need to try to i don't know um try to do something but this thing is you see how chunky it is I can't, I can't put nothing else in this. This is it. This is, I mean, you know, look, this, it, it just doesn't get any, I mean, come on. Can't, this is, this is it. I mean, it's, it's going to be hard to even just write in this thing, let her alone. I might even have to wind up just putting pictures. I don't know yet. But, yeah, this is my first one, so it's definitely a lesson learned. And I actually took out quite a bit of the pages, and then towards the back, I started gluing five to six pages at a time because it was just so thick. So, you know, you live and you learn, but, yeah, this was my first one, and I, I loved it. I, I just, I really did. I don't know if you guys can see this image. But, yeah. All right. Well, stay tuned. Uh, my first junk journal ever. And I enjoyed it. I loved how this turned out, you guys. So, stay tuned. Subscribe so you can stay up on my new and latest videos. All right. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Here's to you by Nina.